Hey, Fred Minnick here, and I'm about to talk about something I never thought I would on this channel. Never in a million years did I think I would be talking about the Kardashians on my YouTube channel. But that is indeed what I'm about to do. Kendall Jenner, the you know famous model, kajillions of Instagram followers, she started a tequila brand last year, 818 Tequila. Now, it got a lot of case sales. It got a wide stream appeal. Uh, with her base very quickly. She also got involved in a, in a lawsuit, was accused of appropriation. You know, it hasn't had the best, like, uh, you know, PR. But most recently, the Distilled Spirits Council of the United States, otherwise known as Discus, sent a complaint and basically shut down uh, a campaign or rather an Instagram post that uh, Kendall Jenner had used. You see that photo right there where she's got a straw inside the bottle? That is her sipping um, tequila straight from the bottle, or so Discus says. Now, Discus said that that photo was an example of overconsumption. They are all spirits brands must adhere to the code of conduct, the code of responsibility that Discus contains. Uh, that's in the federal guidelines. The federal government expects the spirits industry to police itself. And so when somebody complained about that photo, uh, they then issued that to 818 Tequila. 818 Tequila said that it was indeed not promoting overconsumption. But Disc is countered like, listen, you, you may be a lifestyle brand and all that, but, you know, we don't encourage people drinking straight from the bottle. Discus actually has a history going after people on Instagram. You know, the famous uh, he's now passed away uh, Scotch Trooper. Well, they uh, sent him a cease and desist uh, a long time ago as well. Basically got his account uh, impacted. And there are implications here for us all. What we are seeing uh, with the rise of social media is that the spirits industry is taking a closer look at how uh, people are affiliating themselves with their products. But drinking straight from the bottle has never been my thing. Is it yours? Do you like drinking straight from the bottle? Uh, put that in the comment section. But I remember I, I had a friend who was going through a divorce and his, uh, his actions of drinking straight from the bottle and putting it on social media ended up in, in a child in the child custody case. So uh, that's just kind of always stuck with me that um, it, it, it gets it can get you in trouble down the line. But I, I'm going to be very curious to see how the industry handles social media moving forward. Now that you have these uh, huge celebrities getting into the space, you know, Kendall Jenner is not going to be the last celebrity with millions upon millions of followers who drink uh, their product like a lot of their fans do because that that riles them up, that sells product. You know, it's going to be very interesting to see how the industry responds. Uh, will the will they begin to police us? You know, will they begin working with the social media accounts to, you know, reduce the amount of posts? Um, that encourage overconsumption or what they deem to be overconsumption? Will that impact the live streams here on on YouTube? I, I think that this one issue that has brought, been brought to the surface with Kendall Jenner could have wider spread implications than just 818 tequila. Um, I, I try to be responsible. I try to always... Um, always put on a you know responsibility cap on this channel and and everything that I do in the, in the alcohol space but the fact is that you know the majority of the alcohol related content in the in the sphere is is not done like that and people have a good time um, you know drinking straight from the bottle so I, I don't know what this I really don't know where the the industry is going to go with this um, but they have for a very long time discouraged anybody in the industry to dr from drinking straight from the bottle or promoting overconsumption or drunkenness um, and so you know I, I think I think there's gonna be a whole lot more of what we saw with Kendall Jenner 
But what what do you think? Uh, I put in the description. I put uh, I, I put a link to the the code of uh, responsibility from uh, the Chill Spirits Council. I also put in uh, past stories on how they have uh, uh, basically went after people in the past, like Scotch Trooper, and I put a story in, in the description as well on the, the Kendall Jenner, Jenner story. So I would like to know what you think. Do you think uh, drinking straight from the bottle, does that encourage overconsumption, or is the Distilled Spirits Council just being overreactive here? Uh, I, I'm really curious to know what your thoughts are, but I do think that the industry is it's 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 coming to it. You know, I, I think this has got to be discussed, and at some point, you know, the world of social media is going to overtake you know the the code of practice or the code of responsibility that uh, Distilled Spirits Council tries to push because there's just too many celebrities coming onto the scene and they sure in the shit don't care uh, about traditional marketing practices in the spirits industry. But hey, thank you for tuning in. I look forward to reading your comments about what you think on this subject. And uh, if you'd like to, hit that subscribe button and uh, let's uh, let's keep this conversation going about responsibility in uh, and whiskey and other spirits. Until next time, cheers.